Hi guys, my name's Tommy Pemberton. I'm here with UK Paintball in South London. We're out in the woods today um, and I want to talk to you about paintball. Obviously when you pick up your paintball gun for the first time, you're going to want to shoot it quickly. I'm going to show you how. Okay, right now, I've got a die NT here. I'm, um, I'm going to try and show you guys how to shoot this quickly, okay? This is an electronic paintball gun. It has a, a micro swi switch in with the trigger, okay? So it's really, really easy to shoot quick. These guns can easily go up to speeds of 18, 19, 20 balls a second. Um, but right now this gun's set to 10 balls a second, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to hold the gun as securely as we can. Again, with the pressure points in the lower part of my hand and in my shoulder, okay? And all of the shooting is going to be done with two fingers. This is a double trigger on this gun. A lot of modern day paintball markers have this. Um, and it just allows you to, to basically to shoot the gun quicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate which trigger, uh, which finger I pull the trigger with, okay? So I'm going to shoot with the bottom finger first and then the top finger, okay? And by doing that quickly, it shoots the gun real quick, okay? So if your gun has a double trigger like this, then make sure you utilize using both fingers in alternate like that, you know? There's some people have used three fingers before and tried to do that, but it gives you a quite an unstable grip. So by having two fingers on the gun, you can either shoot it flat fingered like that, or you can pull your finger off the side of the trigger like this, and it gives you the same effect, okay? So by using the two fingers, it means you utilize the double trigger and you can get the most out of these paintball guns. So with your standard rental gun, it's mechanical, it's going to shoot very, very differently from a, an electronic paintball gun and you're going to have to shoot it differently to get the most out of it. So when you hold it, you're still going to have the two pressure points that you've got from your shoulder and the lower half of your hand. But obviously with a gun like this, it's got a single trigger, okay, instead of a double trigger. So with this, this single trigger is a mechanical trigger. It's a lot heavier on the fingers. So when you're, when you're just about to pull the trigger, you can feel it. It's, it. It feels like quite stiff and like it's just going to click. So by finding that point just before the gun fires, okay is where you're going to find get the most out of it okay so i'm going to try and keep my finger pretty much on that point where the gun fires and when it recocks okay if i keep my finger held down because this is a semi-automatic gun it's not going to recock so if i do that and i hold it down i need to release you know you can actually hear it re click okay so when i release it it clicks back so i'm going to try and keep it on that point and just use that one finger to shoot it quickly as you can see actually with this as well this is a gravity fed loader so by, by shaking the gun, I'm basically keeping paint going in there, okay? So most gravity-fed loaders aren't great at keeping the paint going in there. So if it does if it does suddenly shoot like that and no paintballs come out, just give your loader a little shake and it'll keep it going. But as you can see, I mean, this is just a, this is a cheap rental gun and you can probably get about five, six balls a second out of it. So they still shoot pretty good. So these are the two main types of paintball guns and that's how to shoot them both quickly.